Okay, I thought I would give a little update about this uh, big sale I made. Um, as you can see, the last time you saw you guys saw this sale it was um, not blue; it was actually white. Uh, I actually painted the cell to uh, protect it from any exposure to water that's in the air, or uh, protect the metals from prematurely uh, dying due to the exposure of water in the air. Basically, I'm combating water in the air, and I find that spray painting it or encasing it in something protects it and extends the life of it. As you can see, I keep it on this tray. It's hollow, so there's no trickery involved. Um, spray painted it. It's magnesium copper. It's copper tubing, magnesium ribbon wrapped around it. The ingredients for this cell is uh, Elmer's glue, Epsom salts, and salt substitute. Uh, the key to this cell's success is letting it dry. Uh, I have been letting this cell run for quite a while, running this LCD clock. Um, but yeah, this is the one. This is this is the actual cell that um, I think it was uh, 1.8 amps, and it went down really quickly. Uh, it's not at that amp rating anymore. Uh, it's much less than that uh, due to the fact that I am running a load, uh, which is that. But I will show you guys more. Um, let's see. I, I made this cell on the 10/18/2011. So October 18th, 2011. Then on 1019, I spray painted it. Then I let it dry till 1021, where I hooked it up and had it power something. And yada yada yada. And today is 1031. Uh, as you can see, today is 1031. So LCD's clock's been running since uh, 18th day till 31th day, which is today. Uh, we're going to, that's my kitty, hey kitty, alright, she's going to be a little nuisance here, but that's okay, yes kitty, um, yes, yes, I know, uh, we're going to hook the LCD clock, and I've got the amp reading right there, 10 amp scale, as you can see, and it's not at the original, but, I can show you guys what amp rating it's at now. And there you guys go. I'll, I'll keep it here for a second so you can watch it. It's uh, going to be less than half an amp. Hey, I know, kitty. I'll just let you guys watch it. Yeah, I know, kitty. Again, that's, that's this cell right here, you guys saw it earlier, producing about 1.8 amps uh, earlier. Uh, but yeah, it, it does what it does, and it's doing pretty good, and it's been running that LCD clock for a good time now. Um, but yeah, 10 amp scale. And the kitty's here to help. Hey, kitty. Yeah, I know. Yeah, looks like it's starting to hold there. It may go down a little bit more than that. But you guys get the purpose or the general idea of it. Uh, but yeah, there is a, there's a quick update of that cell right there. Uh, it's actually, I would say it's doing pretty well. It's probably the best performing cell I've made so far. And I think it's mostly due to the sheer size of it and the plates. Um, the key fact to this is that you got to spray paint it. you got to protect the cell. You can't let any water get in. That is very important. If you let water in it, it destroys the cell. Water is what really kills the cell. It's not the salt, it's not any of that, it's the water. Uh, but yeah, here's a quick update of it. As you can see, it's, it's still holding there. I, I'm pretty sure it'll still keep on going down a little bit. But yeah, there you have it. And that's a quick update of that cell. Is that right, kitty? Yeah, you're, you're special, aren't you? Wait, what the? Uh, it did go up a little bit. Was not expecting that. And it went back down. Okay. Alright. Yeah. There's a quick update, guys. 